Now the Feast of Unleavened Bread drew nigh, which was called the Passover. And the chief priests and scribes sought how they might kill him, for they feared the people. Then entered Satan into Judas, surnamed Iscariot, being of the number of the twelve. And he went his way, and communed with the chief priests and captains, how he might betray him unto them. And they were glad, and covenanted to give him money. And he promised, and sought opportunity, to betray him unto them in the absence of the multitude. Hath not the potter power over the clay, of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor, and another unto dishonor? But in a great house there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also of wood and of earth, and some to honor and some to dishonor. If a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified, and meet for the master's use, and prepared unto every good work. Israelites, the Most High has vessels of honor and some for dishonor. When the Most High issue a judgment, he will use the vessels of dishonor to carry out his sentence. Yah is perfect and sinless. In order for the Most High to enforce his judgment, he will allow the vessels of dishonor to execute their diabolical plans. When we follow the statutes and commandments of the Most High, we are under the protection of the Most High. Because we are under the protection of Yah, the kingdom of darkness cannot do what they want with us. The only way the synagogue of Satan can obtain permission, sin must be present. Sin will remove Yah's protection from you. When the Most High is carrying out his judgment, he is removing his protection from you, giving the kingdom of darkness the opportunity to oppress you. The Most High is not the one doing the evil that befall you, for the Most High is perfect and sinless. It is the evil imaginations of the kingdom of darkness terrorizing you. Since the Most High know the intent of our hearts and he knows the end from the beginning, Yah know whom to use to bless or to judge. I have heard people say numerous of times, how can the Most High allow such evil to take place? It is not the Most High committing the evil deeds you see. The scripture said the Most High do not find pleasure in afflicting his people. But though he cause grief, yet will he have compassion according to the multitude of his mercies. For he doth not afflict willingly, nor grieve the children of men. The Most High has laws. If you violate his laws, there are consequences. Just like when you violate the laws of the land you live on, there are penalties. The scriptures inform us the wages of sin is death. In addition, sin separates us from the Most High. When you violate his laws, the Most High cannot protect you unless you repent. If you do not repent, you are in the hands of the kingdom of darkness. The evil taking place is the evil imaginations of the wicked. The earth was given into the hands of the wicked. The Most High will use the wicked vessels of this honor to judge the nations and individuals. If you are righteous and you are seeking the Most High, repenting of your sins and breaking evil covenants, the Most High will use you as a vessel of honor. If a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified and meet for the master's use, and prepared unto every good work. When the Most High wants to bless you, he will use the vessels of honor to carry out his will in your life. For example, let's say the Most High wants to assist you in purchasing a house. The Most High will send people that he can show himself strong through to help you in the process. These individuals will be vessels of honor to assist in your home buying process. The Most High will also send his messengers, your angelic helpers, to assist you behind the scenes. The Most High revealed to the Israelites what would befall them if they disobeyed. We have learned in the scriptures that the Israelites disobeyed the Most High. Due to his people's disobedience, the Most High has decreed his judgment on his chosen people. Who are the people the Most High is using to carry out this judgment and chastise his people for their disobedience? Who are oppressing us today? The Most High is using the wicked, the synagogue of Satan, and the hybrids to carry out this judgment on his people, the vessels of dishonor. The Most High gave the wicked permission to oppress his people because of sin and to fulfill what he foretold several generations prior. 
if the Most High do not decree to have the judgment or the blessing transpire in your life or a nation, nothing will happen for the Most High have the final say. Who is he that saith, and it cometh to pass, when the Lord commandeth it not? Remember, Satan is limited. He cannot do what he wants. Satan is not equal to the Most High. He must get permission. Satan had to ask the Most High to remove the hedge of protection around Job to afflict Job. Hast not thou made an hedge about him, and about his house, and about all that he hath on every side? Thou hast blessed the work of his hands, and his substance is increased in the land. But put forth thine hand now, and touch all that he hath, and he will curse thee to thy face. When the Most High removed the hedge of protection around Job, the Most High allowed Satan to afflict Job. However, Yah did not give Satan the permission to kill Job. Satan had to get permission to test Peter and the rest of the disciples. The Most High allowed Satan to sift Peter and the disciples because Yahshua said, I pray that your faith do not fail. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee, that thy faith fail not, and when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. The kingdom of darkness wants you to believe they are greater than they really are. The scriptures reveal Satan accuses us day and night before the Most High. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God, and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. Once we violate the laws of the Most High, Yah decide the outcome. Most people do not know this. Israelites, the Most High must approve everything that takes place in this world and in our lives. If the Most High allow the unfortunate to take place in your life, he will use the unfortunate to elevate you or to correct you and save your life. Joseph was predestined to save his people during the years of the famine. The Most High allowed his brothers to sell him into slavery to get him to where he needs to be to fulfill his destiny. Once the Most High finished training Joseph, he became what he was predestined to be. The scriptures reveal to us that Joseph understood the purpose of his pain. After he was exalted, he realized what the kingdom of darkness meant for evil. The Most High turned it around for good. But as for you, ye thought evil against me. But God meant it unto good, to bring to pass, as it is this day, to save much people alive. Because Joseph's brothers allowed the spirit of jealousy to influence them, sin was found in them, removing them from the Most High's protection. The kingdom of darkness used his brothers to try to cause a delay in Joseph's destiny. The Most High used his brothers, who at the time were vessels of dishonor, to help Joseph fulfill his calling. The Most High did not plot against Joseph to be sold into slavery. Satan did. Yah used the evil plans of Satan to his advantage to get Joseph to his destiny. I hope you understand the message I'm conveying. No matter what it looks like, the Most High is in control and he will use his vessels according to his purpose. Israelites, you cannot interpret everything that is happening in our world today as false flags. Yes, the kingdom of darkness will try to imitate what the Most High prophesy. The Most High have to give permission to the kingdom of darkness for their diabolical plans to happen. If the Most High allowed the event to take place, he has a purpose for it. When we saw in the news that the cathedral was on fire, those who cannot see beyond what's in front of them will simply respond the way the kingdom of darkness trained them to respond. There are people who could look past what's in front of them and seek the Most High to find out what he is saying to his people. Too many people are giving the kingdom of darkness credit as if the synagogue of Satan has the final say. You have to understand how the Most High operate. You have to examine what took place in Paris with your spiritual eyes. The kingdom of darkness used this event to rob the heathens and to establish and renew covenants. I am sure the church was their sacrifice to their idol. The Most High allowed this event to take place to tell his people to come out of her, expose the wicked, and judgment. 
Yah allowed the wicked imagination of the synagogue of Satan to transpire for a greater purpose. Just like how the Most High allowed the imposters to steal our identity for multiple reasons. One, to protect his people. Two, the Most High knew the lies they told would come back and expose them. What is done in the dark will become known. There is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. The third reason the Most High allowed the imposters to steal our identity, to chastise and train his people. Four, to fulfill what was written. The Most High is not going to come off his throne to punish nations and individuals. Yah has his angels to bless and he has his angels to punish. He does not have to come off his throne to carry out his will. Yah will use whomever he will to fulfill what he please. If the Most High have to get off his throne to deal with a nation or a person, the scripture said it is a fearful thing to be cast into the hands of the living Elohim of Israel. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. I do not know what the fate of a nation or an individual would be if the Most High have to come off his throne. The earth is his footstool. The Most High is in control, Israelites. Nothing can happen without his consent. It is the Most High who appoint leaders. It is the Most High who dethrone them. The Most High have a purpose for the wicked. Israelites, you have to learn to discern the will of the Most High and the kingdom of darkness attempt to cover up the Most High's wrath. The scriptures reveal to us it is the Most High that hardened the heart of Pharaoh to not let our ancestors, the Israelites, out of bondage in Egypt. And I will harden Pharaoh's heart and multiply my signs and my wonders in the land of Egypt. But Pharaoh shall not hearken unto you that I may lay my hand upon Egypt and bring forth mine armies and my people, the children of Israel, out of the land of Egypt by great judgments. For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, Even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Pharaoh did not wake up one day and say, I will not let the Israelites go. The Most High hardened his heart to fulfill his purpose, in addition to lead his people out of captivity. Likewise, Israelites, the Most High will harden the heart of our leaders and people today to fulfill his purpose and to deliver us out of captivity. Yah will move on the hearts of the wicked to destroy themselves, just as he allowed the wicked to burn down the cathedral for a purpose. It is yours and my duty to find out the reason he allowed this to happen. Do not let the kingdom of darkness steal from you the revelation being revealed to you. Israelites, the scriptures reveal a time when the enemies of Judah surround them to destroy them. Once the leader and the Israelites humble themselves and pray for the Most High's assistance, the Most High intervene in their battle and cause their enemies to fight themselves. And when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set ambushments against the children of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, which were come against Judah, and they were smitten. But the children of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Mount Seir, utterly to slay and destroy them. And when they had made an end of the inhabitants of Seir, every one helped to destroy another. It was the Most High who destroyed the Israelites' enemy by his power and might. How does the Most High cause the enemies to fight themselves, Israelites? The Most High is involved with what is happening in this world today. Not everything is staged. They want you to believe it is staged so you will not recognize the Most High. Yah want you to know he is the sovereign ruler of all. There is a purpose for everything. The Most High revealed to you that he has vessels of honor and vessels of dishonor. Your homework is to find out what is happening through the Holy Spirit revealing truth to you, not through people who are being led by emotions and human wisdom. My opinion and other people's opinion do not matter. The only opinion that matters is solely the Most High. The Most High said that he would harden the heart of who he choose and will have mercy on whom he will. Therefore, hath he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will he hardeneth. The Most High is not allowing you to witness these events to declare the kingdom of darkness. He allow you to see scriptures being fulfilled to declare his power and might. The synagogue of Satan think they are in control, but they have been deceived by the very one they worship, Satan. Judas Iscariot was a chosen vessel of dishonor. 
Israelites, you have to beware of the Judas in your life. The Most High said he has scattered us among our enemies. Judas surrounds you. There are many Judas in your family. We all have a Judas in our lives. Remember, the scriptures reveal a person's enemy would be the members of their household. A man's foe shall be they of his own household. When the Messiah came to fulfill what was written about him, he revealed what would happen to him when he was fellowshipping with his disciples. Yahshua said to the twelve disciples, One of you would betray me. Now when the even was come, he sat down with the twelve. And as they did eat, he said, Verily, I say unto you, that one of you shall betray me. And he answered and said, He that dippeth his hand with me in the dish, the same shall betray me. The Son of Man goeth as it is written of him. But woe unto that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It had been good for that man if he had not been born. Then Judas, which betrayed him, answered and said, Master, is it I? He said unto him, Thou hast said. Yeshua knew before he was sent that Judas Iscariot would betray him. The Most High chose Judas to fulfill his purpose. A vessel needed to be used to bring to pass what was written about Yahshua. Satan's plan was to kill Yahshua to interfere with the Israelites' deliverance. The Most High used the wicked imagination of Satan to deliver his people instead. Israelites, Judas was chosen long ago to betray the Messiah. When you see something diabolical taking place in the world today, the synagogue of Satan is using the event to prolong their leadership. The Most High is using the same event to fulfill what was written, to execute judgment, and whatever else he chose. It is not always what it appeared to be. If the kingdom of darkness is capable to bring to pass these events, could you imagine what the Most High is able to do? The scriptures reveal to us that Satan entered into Judas Iscariot to influence him to betray the Messiah. Judas gave Satan permission to use him through his love of money. Then entered Satan into Judas, surnamed Iscariot, being of the number of the twelve. Currently, we have multiple Judas Iscariots in our community willing to sell out their people for fame, money, and power. These individuals will plot with the enemy against their own for worthless profits. Social media is a safe haven for the Judas among us. They are willing to start a controversy for likes and followers. They are not aware of the amount of chaos they are causing in their own community. How many people are affected by their poor choices? They are willing to do anything for clout and money. This is why our communities are in the conditions they are in. The Judas among us, Satan promote. The scripture said, what it profits a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul. What is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Judas Iscariot did not gain a huge payday for his betrayal. He was given 30 pieces of silver to turn in the Messiah. In today's value, a few hundred dollars. Then one of the twelve called Judas Iscariot went unto the chief priests and said unto them, What will ye give me? And I will deliver him unto you. And they covenanted with him for 30 pieces of silver. And from that time he sought opportunity to betray him. Just like today, the Judas among us are paid in ad revenue, donations, and a few hundred dollars by our enemies to betray their people. The little money they make is not worth the cost. Their betrayal brings a cycle of dysfunction in our communities for generations. Our people are easily convinced by the false reports. When Judas Iscariot realized what he had done, he could not live with himself. He committed suicide by hanging himself. What happened to his body after his death was gruesome. Then Judas, which had betrayed him, when he saw that he was condemned, repented himself and brought again the thirty pieces of silver to the chief priests and elders, saying, I have sinned and that I have betrayed the innocent blood. And they said, What is that to us? See thou to that. And he cast down the pieces of silver in the temple and departed and went and hanged himself. Now this man purchased a field with the reward of iniquity, and falling headlong he burst asunder in the midst, and all his bowels gushed out. And it was known unto all the dwellers at Jerusalem, insomuch as that field is called in their proper tongue, Aseldama, that is to say, the field of blood. Judas Iscariot suffered a brutal death. 
If you pay attention, the workers of iniquity always suffer a brutal death. The Judas among us believe because they have followers, likes, and fame that their evil deeds will not catch up to them. Just as Satan deceived Judas Iscariot in the synagogue of Satan to commit evil deeds, the Judas among us will suffer the same fate. The Most High will allow their evil deeds to continue. When the time comes for him to execute his judgment, they will be without excuse. Therefore now go, lead the people unto the place of which I have spoken unto thee. Behold, mine angel shall go before thee. Nevertheless, in the day when I visit, I will visit their sin upon them. Israelites, it is important to take notice of the Judas among us. Do not allow them to influence you to betray your Elohim. You will be able to identify the Judas among us by their behavior and the fruits they are producing. The Israelite community have many Judas Iscariots. They have their own doctrines. The focus is on self-righteousness instead of the Most High. They will do everything but what the Most High said for us to do, which is, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. The Most High makes it easy. Repent, pray, and seek the Most High. Many Israelites are focused on other matters. I notice a lot of celebrity Judas are now speaking out against the injustice towards the black community. I believe they are now realizing their error. The enemy has turned on them. They have sold out their people and their community for celebrity status and money. The effect their movies, music, and products have on our community is setting us back. Presently, majority of them have appointed themselves to serve as activists and leaders in our communities. How can they lead when they are a part of the problem? Israelites, they are not to be trusted. They will use your pain for personal gain. Do not forget about the hybrid Judas Iscariots. The Most High said we live among our enemies. In addition, the ones who hate us would rule over us. The hybrids say one thing and their behavior reveal another story. This is why you must examine the people around you. The Most High said that by their fruits, you would know them. The hybrids have betrayed us repeatedly, yet we want to continue to follow them and make them leaders over us. Israelites, the Most High has vessels of honor and some for dishonor. Both are being used to fulfill what the Most High has written. When the synagogue of Satan declare war, destroy landmarks and organize a mass shooting, they are meant to bring forth destruction and to enlarge the kingdom of darkness army. The only reason the Most High allowed their wicked plans to happen, the Most High will use their evil imaginations for a greater purpose. Never exclude the Most High. The vessels of dishonor are only fulfilling their destiny. If you continue to seek the Most High, He will reveal the greater purpose to you. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou gavest me I have kept, and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled.